Hey, what up, family? Peace and light, everyone. How y'all doing? Abundance, wellness, happiness. Um, so we're here right now in my backyard, and I just wanted to show you all pretty much our mushroom operation, small scale, micro scaling, our mushroom operation for the urban market. So basically, what we're growing right now is pink oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are super beneficial for the body. They are antibacterial, antiviral, protein, vitamin D. If you're not out there two hours a day in the sunlight, you're not getting a sufficient natural amount of vitamin D. And that's just something to be considered. You do hear an airplane because we are in an urban environment. So this is a unique experience to share. But anywho, we're gonna take you inside my greenhouse. So here we have it, micro scale urban farming for local markets. So we have uh, our pink oysters. We use these mosquito nets to pretty much keep bugs at bay. Mushrooms, they get these nasty flies that like to come and just burrow inside of the uh, gills of the mushrooms. And which is why when you people forage, this is a natural thing coming. But when you forage in the wild, mycologists or people that are interested in mycology or mushrooms in general they go out and they have a brush they, they have a brush they have like a little mushroom brush which i'll show you all in my next video or something like that but they uh they pretty much brush out the gills and that's what you got to do if in the wild so here when we grow all of our produce we like to mimic a natural system as much as possible so with that come certain things but it the good oh this might be trying to come out the good outweighs the bad this um i put a piece of tape here I'm gonna have to just come back for those, but anywho, so we put these mosquito nets here for the mush so that to deter the bugs and we're actually going to increase our production. This was just a sample. This was just a trial pretty much. Uh, we, we started out inside, but we realized it's um, easier to maintain the system by merging with natural conditions by mushrooms being out in the sun they are more nutrient dense so we look to these as m like medicine as well as food or medicine as well as taste they taste delicious but they actually can heal our bodies so these are our oyster mushrooms uh we grew we're growing pink oyster mushrooms now but let me show it to you guys here we go isn't this magical this is just one. We have a few in there. There's another flesh coming through. Um, some budding ones. Some little baby ones coming through. Isn't this beautiful? These are our pink oyster mushrooms. Just as if we was in the laboratory but we're in God's laboratory. Yeah, they're coming out beautiful. This is our second flush. Our first flush was from four of these. We got just a little under a pound, I believe. Either under a little under or a little over a pound. And pretty much we're gonna pack this, this thing out and this is how we're gonna do it. And we're pretty much gonna grow according to season. So pink oyster mushrooms do good in the tropics and we mimic a tropic condition. We're actually in subtropics, North Florida, and we're gonna we're gonna mimic that condition. That's why we have them in the greenhouse. We spray here every day to help increase humidity. So we do this in order to mimic a natural system. They get an adequate amount of sunlight, which helps to increase the vitamin potency or the nutrient potency for our bodies. This is just the beginning. We tried it out. It works. Pink oysters turns out they have a real hard time shipping. So. What that means is that, especially like when, when the temperatures aren't perfect for them, ideal. So when they're shipping, a lot of times, man, they have the chance to become contaminated or so we've experienced with uh, certain mushroom businesses that produce mushrooms. But anywho, also if you wait too many days, 
after you receive your mycelium in order or your spawn in order to uh, fruit they have a higher chance of becoming contaminated as well so that's some things that we've experienced and we're also going to work with an italian mushroom so we got that coming soon and i can't wait to show you all we're pretty much going to inoculate them into straw as soon as we get them so yeah that was it beautiful mushrooms we're going to harvest some today i'll show you guys later make sure you guys comment below like the video if you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel share with us let us know some of your techniques if you guys even eat mushrooms out there you know it's good for your body now and you know kip ain't gonna tell you nothing that's uh, bad for you but here is our inoculation medium cold soaking the paul stamets way yeah shout out shout out to paul stamets for giving that vitamin information about soaking. I think the Apex Grower on YouTube, much respect to the Apex Grower. Uh, I learned a lot of my stuff from that guy. I also purchased his book, Cultivating Cordyceps, or Cordyceps Cultivation, uh, which is a great book. But yeah, so we have this straw soaking and it stinks, but we have a lid. Uh, I'm not gonna peek inside or else we'll just say that for another video. But uh, again, thank you all and Peace, love, and abundance.